Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. This is Spencer with Hoosier Sparky. So today we're going to be going over some of my favorite plier brands. I've actually used all of these pliers for a period of time. Um, some shorter than others and, and I'll explain that in the video. I will be giving you a small cutting sample and also my experience with each set of pliers. We're going to take a look at Weha, Klein Tools, Knipex, and also NWS. So we're going to start with NWS. In my opinion, these are the most comfortable handles. The, the regular style handles are red and black. Their insulated pliers are these red and yellow pliers. You'll see like Irwin, they, these, they make pliers for Irwin, those the German made pliers that they used to have. Um, and then also I think Milwaukee, they make some for Milwaukee too, but I believe those are only sold in like Germany. They're, they're good pliers. I have one issue with them and that is quality control. I used this eight inch pair of diagonal cutters from them for a couple months and I loved them and I loved them so much that I decided to get these 10 inch ones right here and they were horrible. Um, the eight inch ones cut better than the 10 and it was really disappointing but you could see there's a gap inside of the, the cutting edge so much so that I actually couldn't even cut a zip tie off with the edge of these and it was terribly disappointing. So for our, our cutting example, I did bring some six gauge wire here. Uh, so we'll take a look at these 10 inch, the 10 inch set first. It, it wasn't super easy and it wasn't sharp either. That's, that's the main thing. And those, I did not use those very long at all. I was so disappointed with those. Next, we'll start with the eight inch NWS diagonal cutters. They cut way better. I still am so disappointed with the 10 inch pliers. So also I did buy this set of three, come with a, a small pair of diagonal cutters, a pair of needle nose, and a small pair of combination pliers. And, and I have to say, I was disappointed with those as well. The only thing that I've used out of the whole set were these needle nose, and, and they are fantastic. The diagonal cutters and the combination pliers were honestly, they, they were terrible. They didn't cut very well and they were very stiff and they wouldn't open. And, and I do have to say that's the same for all of the hinging on, on all of their pliers. It is not the same that you get with uh, Knipex or Klein or Weha. I would say overall, these are probably my least favorite. This is one of my favorite pairs. This is my 10 inch pair of Knipex diagonal cutters. And these are the angled heads which is something that NWS doesn't offer is the angled head, which, which is something that I really like. And this is probably the pair I've used the longest and, and they move so easy. They, they, the first day that I got them, they were, you know, the same way. Um, I, there was no break in period, which was nice because that is a frustrating couple weeks. Next, we have the nine and a half inch uh, high leverage lineman's pliers from Knipex. These things are monsters. They are the same way that the diagonal cutters are. They have opened like this from day one um, with no effort. And, and the cutting on these is fantastic. By far my favorite pair of lineman's pliers. The cutting on them's great. I've never had a problem with anything that I've had from Knipex. But next, I have this insulated set of needle nose pliers. They're chrome plated and they are just beautiful. The normal set of handles on a pair of Knipex are comfortable, um, but the insulated version just blows that out of the water. Last for the Knipex, I have a seven inch pair of diagonal cutters. These are not the high leverage, uh, which I did not know that, but the set that is not high leverage actually has a pointier nose. So I like these for MC because it has the pointier nose to get in there to that groove to strip it. And it also has these stripping holes for 12 and 14. So for either Romex for, or for MC, these are great. Easy. Next, we're going to do Klein Tools. This is actually my first set of linemans, and they did me well for a very long time. Uh, eventually, I wanted to upgrade my handles, and I ended up trying out a pair of Knipex. I loved them. I have not been back since. But they do cut fantastically, and these are the easiest to get. They are at every supply house. Uh, Home Depot has them versus the other sets of pliers. You have to go to Amazon or Casey Tool. This set right here, um, you can get them anywhere. And it was like, 
I think 60 or $70 for the set of line mints, needle nose, and diagonal cutters, which you're gonna need all three. The cutting on these is great, uh, and the handles are okay. I do like the comfort grip handles on any set better. These are the eight inch needle nose from Klein um, with the dipped handles. So they are still pretty stiff. I haven't used these very much. And that is one thing I can say about Klein is there's a huge break in period where you have to take some time and work these pliers in for them to open up fairly easily. And last on the list of Klein is their eight inch diagonal cutters. These were also my first diagonal cutters and they did super well. Um, they are a quality plier. I do like Klein still and so many guys use them in the trade still. I would say this is probably the most used brand in the trade. These are my Klein needle nose strippers. Um, they have the journeyman handle on them. So this handle comes on the linemen's, the needle nose, or the diagonal cutters if you get them. The set that I have is not the journeyman style though. They are just the dipped handles, but this is that extra special handle that you can get if you would like. Definitely a lot more effort. Um, I do have to say that the linemen's pliers cut a lot better than these um, versus on some of the other brands. The linemen's always cut better, but there's not such a gap between cuts. And last but not least, we're gonna look at the Weeha pliers. So this is their insulated handle. A lot of Weeha stuff is insulated. And these, these are fairly new, so they're a little stiff, but not until you get them all the way open. This handle is very comfortable. I do like the handle quite a bit, and the, the look on these pliers is also very nice. They are machined very well. Next, this is the eight inch set of insulated needle nose from Weeha. The handles are super comfortable. Okay, and last, these are the nine and a half inch New England style lineman's pliers from Weeha. These are fantastic. They're a lot bigger than the other sets of lineman's pliers. So I don't know how I feel about that. There, there's quite a bit more weight there to them. And I think that's because of how large the head is. They do cut very well. And, and the handles are just a tad bit too big for such a large plier. They do have the, these larger handles on them and it is kind of hard to grab sometimes. So now we're gonna do some cutting with the Weeha pliers. Overall, I would have to say that NWS is very last in line uh, for these sets of pliers. They are good pliers, but it worries me about quality control if you end up getting a bad pair. With the other end of the spectrum, we have Knipex, which is my favorite. The cut is great, the handles are comfortable. I've never had a bad pair of Knipex, so their quality control is great. The design on them is fantastic and the leverage is great. Uh, and then I would say in the middle, it's really a toss up between Weeha and Klein with some of the benefits of Klein being the availability of them and also that they are made in the US. That is a huge bonus. With the negatives of Klein being that they are a lot stiffer and you don't get quite the as good of a cut. Uh, I do like the cut on the Weeha diagonal cutters better. Some people may disagree, um, but from, from my personal opinion and my personal experience, I do like the Weeha's cutting better on the diagonal pliers. Klein linemen's are amazing. For the bonuses for the Weeha, I would definitely have to say that the cutting is fantastic and the handles are so much more comfortable than the Klein's. Um, and I haven't had any issues with any of my Weeha tools yet. Top plier, Knipex takes the cake 10 out of 10 times for me. I appreciate it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Go ahead and like this video if you would and leave a comment down below if I missed any plier brands. Uh, if I missed your favorite brand, if you're a Greenlee guy, if you're an Ideal guy, if you're a Knipex guy, Knipex guy, Nipex guy, or Knipex guy, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the next one.